Oh, look, she's even good enough to leave me a list. Alright, while well, mommy's away. Brush teeth. Oh, come on, I know the brush teeth. Cough syrup. Some veggies. Oh my god. Does she think that I don't know anything? Gluten free, isn't that the part that helps you? What's up guys? Okay, that's optimism at its finest, overcoming how I'm actually feeling, which is pretty... <sighs> Today's one of those days when I, I really didn't feel like picking up the camera, but I'm picking it up anyway because I think it's important to share videos like this with you guys. That's why I'm doing it. And when I'm having a not so great day like this, I really just feel like I need to lie down on the ground and just kind of give up. But I need to get up and make things happen because I'm a man and that's what men do. And probably a lot of women out there too, to be fair. Let me give you guys a little rundown of kind of what's going on. Hillary is gone for her first mom's trip away from the kids ever. I happen to have three sick kids. One more sick than the other two, but all still a little under the weather. I was supposed to play a show tonight uh, with the band, and uh, we had a sitter lined out, my auntie, and we just, I don't think it's fair to put sick kids on, on anybody, and I don't think it'd be fair to them to have their first night away from their mom, especially the little one here, um, with a sitter while they're sick, so I, I found somebody else to cover for the band, hopefully. And on top of that, ugh, just like, the struggles, man. The bills are, you know, random bills I wasn't expecting coming in. It's like almost enough money in, is coming in as needs to go out. And this is just the reality of it. And it makes it a little extra stressful on top of everything else, you know. But this is important, this is important. I think it's important to share this type of stuff with you guys because the idea is to inspire you if you're going through your own struggles, no matter what they may be, how small or big they are, that it's important to just do your best to get through them and maintain a positive attitude while doing so because that'll help you. If you just actually lay down and die, then that's not good for anybody. And uh, as much stress as I'm feeling on my shoulders at the moment, uh, I'm still, I don't have to share this. I don't have to make this video. I can just not hit record and share any of this publicly. You know, I don't, I don't have to. There's nothing requiring me to whatsoever. But I think more important than being concerned about the few people that might dog me for being in this particular situation that I'm in right now, um, it's more important to show people that we're gonna make it through this particular situation against whatever odds may come at us. No matter how many un unexpected bills hit the ground, no matter what, we're gonna make it through and do what's important to us in this moment, which is be with the kids instead of at some nine to five job. Because uh, that's what that's what I need to make happen. I'm working on making a video for the Freedom Breeder uh, Cocoa Blocks thing that I'm, I think is gonna end up being really freaking awesome. Maybe I'll put a clip of it right here. One, two, three. Yeah. Over. Okay, well obviously that's not gonna work. You gonna do some scrub python work today, T? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you know? Um, right now I don't really feel like doing it. Why not? Cause I got a headache. You gonna be okay, bud? Probably. It's okay, bud. You gonna feel Wait, better real soon? sick too. Huh? Sick too. Oh, she's got a snotty nose and stuff. She's not she's not as bad as you, but she's definitely not 100%. Who do you think's the worst? Definitely you. I mean, as far as being sick. You're a great kid. Oh, yeah. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Mammoths. What about woolly mammoths? That they have defenses. Like what? To whack with the with their horns and their tusks. Yeah, and stomp on things and 
he put two eggs on the ice and smashed down, and that's all I know. <laughs> you want to go downstairs, Mushy? Yeah. Daddy, remember you said he got your... What? I remember you said he got your fired on the video, and you said he got your... Hi, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'd never fire you, buddy. I was just kidding. Then on the next video of kids, I'll say, Daddy, you're fired. Other Daddy, you're fired. Ha! <laughs> so part of the struggle was getting this washer and dryer working. As you guys know, if you watched the last video, you remember washer and dryer were both having trouble. I ended up climbing up in the ceiling last night and going in there and, and figuring out what was going on. and. That's part of why now I'm not feeling so hot because I inhaled a bunch of stuff. A smart person, a smart person would have gone up there and probably uh, used a mask, which I do have, but I was in the heat of the moment and was like, we need to figure this out now. And so I went up there without a mask. I breathed in some stuff I probably shouldn't have and I'm feeling a little, man, this video might be a bad idea. T, do you think making this video is a bad idea? <laughs> well, we're making it anyway. You wanna go see some snakes? This is her favorite new toy. The sprayer. Is that your new toy, T? Yeah. Is that fun? You want to go check out some snakes or what? Well, come on. You gonna have to leave that here. Oh. Are you spraying my jacket? Are you spraying everything? <laughs> <laughs> so my is my is my room is kind of destroyed from doing this video for the coco block stuff which is fun and it's just tough it's hard to i've got all these shots that i had laid out to to make it happen and um it, i haven't edited it yet but i'm assuming i'm hoping hoping that i got the shots i need of course you got the the freedom breeder coco blocks thing here the shaker if you guys don't know there is a giveaway happening on the freedom breeder channel like next week i think so if you're not subscribed over there make sure you click on this little thingy and you can check it out to win yourself one of these whole setups here complete with coco blocks it's fun it's fun doing this stuff t you ready for snakey So I do want to give a disclaimer on this snake that she's holding right now. It is a scrub python. They're not necessarily known for being super docile and handleable snakes. <laughs> However, we've worked with this girl for a long time to get her to this point where she can be handled by a kid. And my baby has been quite experienced for her age as, as holding snakes at this point. So um, just want to put that out there. There's not something I 100% recommend just anybody hand a scrub python over to a freaking one and a half year old. But we're talking about special snakes. Look at you. You're a champion holding stuff fights on. Look at that. No, no. Pick her up with your hands. Good. Stand up. Oh. It's hard. It's not easy, T. You're doing a good job, though. Yep, pick her up with your hands. Good job. Good job. See, I'd really like to point out that this is one of the most tolerant scrub pythons you'll ever see on the planet. This snake is extremely tolerant of being handled, and that's from getting her used to being handled. I mean, any snake at all, scrub python or not, being handled by an unexperienced handler like my daughter um, is generally not going to do so well like this. You know, we worked with this snake for a long time to get her to a point where she was comfortable, or at least very tolerant of being handled by people. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You just kind of pet her on the head and she's not going to try and bite me. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool just to show you that what what is kind of, what's possible with a snake that's not necessarily known for being as tolerant as a snake as this snake is, uh, and that to me, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what species of snake it is, 
you can work with them and make them tolerant and raise them to be tolerant of being handled by people and just be used to people. Just like any other animal, I think. What do you think? Should we move on to blood python? So Cecilia Fernandez, this is this is your snake right here, and still kind of defensive as baby blood pythons can be, but as you can see, a one one and a half year old can still handle him, and he's good. I mean, he's he's we're working on him being good. He's not quite there yet, but no, no, he's biting, biting. T, he's he wants to bite right now. You see that? You still want to hold the snake that wants to bite? No. Okay, good girl. I mean, to be fair, he doesn't want to bite, but his next move is definitely going to be to bite. <laughs> Bye. T, you ready to come upstairs with me now? All right. So if you're a little extra stressed today and things don't seem to be going in your favor, I just wanted to make this video to let you know that you're not alone and it's going to be okay. We're going to make it through it together or alone if need be, but you're going to make it through. We're going to make it through chicken noodle soup for the soul. Mushi, please don't fall off that chair, okay? Are you tired, my girl? You tired? <laughs> well, I just made a post on Facebook about peeing in the sink that's going viral, so I think the rest of my day is gonna be okay. I just wanted you guys to, uh, you know, when you when you're down in your luck, just uh, <laughs> just know that everything's gonna be okay and. Whatever happens to you in life, it's all about your attitude about how you feel about it that really matters. <laughs> I'm going to spend the rest of the day here uh, hanging with my kids, so I'll see you guys later.